welcome to the Black Boss Ladies platform, a place where women can gain inspiration for their journey to success through the powerful experiences of successful Black businesswomen, past and present. These women are redefining leveling up by creating legacies in their own time. Are you ready to do the same? Join the discussion on the BBL platform, the place where legacies live. This vignette is brought to you by Think Black. At Think Black, we are the culture. The scene is Poor Old Beauty Salon in College in St. Louis, Missouri in 1918. A young black woman named Sarah is sitting in a chair, getting her hair straightened by another black woman, Lila, who works as a new Poro agent for Annie Malone Turnbo. They are both wearing white uniforms with the Poro logo on them. Sarah examines her new look in the mirror. Oh, Lila, I love it. You did a great job. My hair feels so soft and smooth, and it looks so shiny and healthy. I can't believe this is the same hair that used to be so dry and brittle. I can't believe Miss Annie Malone Turnbull is the one who invented these wonderful products that we use. The Poro Hair Grower, the Poro Pressing Oil, the Poro Scalp Tonic. She calls it the Poro System, and they're all made with natural ingredients that nourish and protect your hair and scalp. She is a genius. Let me tell you how she built this system of education and empowerment. How she trained me, Sarah Breedlove, or as many know me, Madam C.J. Walker, and built this system of education and empowerment for black women like us so that we could take care of our families. She turned many black women into black business women. Annie Malone was born in 1869 in Metropolis, Illinois, to formerly enslaved parents and was orphaned at a young age when her parents died. Annie was a sickly child who had to be withdrawn from classes due to her illness. She was taken in by her older sister, Ada Moody, who was a hairdresser in Peoria, Illinois. A young Annie learned about herbs from a relative who took her out into the woods to study herbs, initially to heal her illness. But the herbs would do so much more for Annie. Her knowledge of herbs combined with Ada teaching her about hairdressing would lead to the first multi-million dollar black hair care business. From Ada's tutelage, little Annie learned from an early age that for African American women, appearance and grooming represented more than personal style. She also understood that black women's hair in its natural appearance was not always readily accepted within society. Ada taught Annie how to style and treat different types of hair. She also encouraged Annie to experiment with her own formulas and products using natural ingredients like herbs, flowers, and oils. Annie had a natural talent for chemistry and hair care and was fascinated by the science and art of hair care. So much so that she soon developed her own line of products that could straighten, grow, and nourish African-American hair without damaging it. Annie named her product Wonderful Hair Grower, and she started selling it door-to-door -door in Lovejoy, Illinois, where she moved with her siblings in 1900. By 1902, Malone's business growth led to St. Louis, Missouri, which at the time held the fourth largest population of African Americans. And he had a vision of creating a system of education and empowerment for black women like herself. In St. Louis, she copyrighted her Poro brand beauty products, opened her first shop, and hired other women to help her. She called her hair care system the Poro system, which means physical and spiritual growth in an African language. At one time, Annie had over 75,000 agents, women and men aged 16 to 80, 
who sold her products across the country and abroad. She also taught them how to run their salons, how to manage their finances, and how to be independent and confident. In 1914, in a St. Louis wedding, Annie married the school principal, Aaron Eugene Malone. While in St. Louis, Annie Malone built a four-story million-dollar building that housed the Poro College, the headquarters of her business empire. The Poro College was more than just a beauty school. It was a place where Black women could learn not only hair care, but also other skills like sewing, cooking, music, and etiquette. Moreover, it was a place where Black culture and history were celebrated and preserved. The Poro College had a theater, a bakery, an auditorium, a library, a museum, and a chapel. Moreover, it had a dormitory for students and employees and hospitality facilities for guests and visitors. The Poro College was a social center for the Black community in St. Louis. It hosted concerts, lectures, plays, dances, and fundraisers. It also supported various causes and organizations that promoted Black education, civil rights, health care, and welfare. From 1919 to 1943, Malone served as president of the St. Louis Colored Orphans Home. She had donated the first $10,000 to build the orphanage's new building in 1919. During the 1920s, Annie Malone's Poro brand soared, increasing the value of her company and making her one of the wealthiest African-American women. With her newfound fortune, Malone donated large sums of money to philanthropic efforts. Malone's philanthropy included financing the education of two full-time students in every historically black college and university. Her $25,000 donation to Howard University was among the largest gifts the university had received by a private donor of African descent. However, the Poro Company will fall upon difficult times due to a bitter divorce settlement from Aaron Eugene Malone, who claimed that he was the reason for her success, and also due to the hardships of the Great Depression. Although her business survived these catastrophes, it was reduced to a fraction of its original size. Annie Malone Turnbull was an inspiration to many black women who followed in her footsteps. She was a pioneer of the black beauty industry and a leader in the black community. She was one of the first black women to become a millionaire in America. Today, the Annie Malone Children's Home stands in North St. Louis in honor to her dedication to the St. Louis Colored Orphans Home. Also, the annual Eddie Malone May Day Parade, which began in 1910, is one of the largest and oldest parades in the area. As of 2023, the parade has grown to be the second largest African-American parade in the country. So you see, she is who any of us can be if we find that thing we love and put all of our hearts and hard work into it. A child of slaves, orphaned at a young age due to her parents' death, too sickly to finish school, yet goes on to create the first multi-million dollar hair care business. Her story is truly inspirational. Miss Annie Malone Turnbull is definitely a Black Boss Lady. And your legacy will live on on the Black Boss Ladies platform. Thank you for joining us on the BBL Platform Podcast, the place where legacies live. We hope you will join us on our next inspirational journey to success. Be sure to rate, like, and subscribe to our show. For more information, please visit our website at thebblplatform.com.